there actually isn't much to do in this area. I'm in Pinopin Pin, and I'm just sitting here near the river. Um, the main things to do here are the Killing Fields, yes, 21 I think it's called, uh, the museum, and the Russian market. There are other markets here as well, but this is actually a pretty dangerous place. I've been warned about this area. Uh, there's sex, the sex, the sex. <laughs> um, there's a red light area, there's some drugs, even tuk-tuk drivers take drugs sometimes here and sell drugs and things like that. So I only stayed for one day. I'm leaving in about 30 minutes, headed to, uh, what is it called, Sinookville. And we'll see how long I'll be there, probably only one day, and head somewhere else. So I'm gonna put my camera away before people start coming by. <laughs> All right, see you guys. A lot of people ask me if I have any scary moments while traveling alone and this was definitely one of them. I was in a tuk-tuk at night and the tuk-tuk driver pulled over and on the way I was thinking I could easily like die right now. But another tuk-tuk driver pulled over and they talked for a second and thankfully what ended up happening was they ended up transferring me to the other tuk-tuk because I was going in his direction. But that was definitely one of those scary alone moments in a foreign country. <laughs> Has seen at least two of my videos. Say hello. Hello. <laughs> where are you from? Uh, Trinidad and Tobago. But you're teaching where? In Beijing. Yay! And you like it? A little. <laughs> okay, let's stop there. <laughs> your 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 pause said enough. <laughs> I need to become more positive. It's great. I love teaching. It See? Helps. It enriches my life. See, but from now on, since you said that, it really will. <laughs> okay, bye. bye. <laughs> this is not German custom. <laughs> and why are you vegan? Uh, This is a Cambodian herbal balm, kind of like tiger balm, and it's eucalyptus and cinnamon and it pretty much saved me on my trip. Just relaxing and editing videos on the beach because I love you guys. <laughs> I came out to get fruit and I ended up getting my nails done, my toes done, my legs threaded, and my feet scrubbed. <laughs> so you 
How does it feel? Nice. You get very small. Yeah, very, very curly. Thank you. <laughs> Your dad also like this? Yes, mom and dad. <laughs> Oh yes, thank you, I will. <laughs> You probably, well actually I'm leaving tomorrow. I'm going to Kampot. So I just arrived in Kampot. Uh, it's supposed to be less foreignery, <laughs> foreignery, and uh, kind of more like this. Yeah, so the hostel I'm staying at is supposed to be kind of secluded near rice fields, so I'm looking forward to some alone time. So to die. <laughs> just arrived and it's really nice here.
this was one of the main restrooms at the eco resort and I just want to show you guys something this is very common in Cambodia you'll usually see this sprayer and it's so that you can spray your butt with it after you do number two and usually there's no toilet paper so make sure to bring your own toilet paper um, and usually there is a bucket of water or a bin of water with a little scooper thing and pretty much you use that to flush the toilet um, sometimes there's no really toilet flusher so yeah just an FYI So I ripped my pants on the bike ride and I turned it into a scarf. <laughs> Going on a sunset cruise. Yay!